So I'm done with the first part. Uh, a little bit slow, but I think it's okay. Now, uh, I don't know if all of you want to do this hands-on, but I will go ahead to do that. So the first thing, uh, what we want to do is now we learned the uh, gates already, right? Let's go deeper. And the best thing is to write down the matrix and do some manipulation. So here we will try to write uh, a few of the gates in Google Colab, uh, but some of them I will just discuss what they are. And then we try to do some uh, simulation, right? So let's go back to the definition of not gate. I did not define well. Now we, we are more serious. Uh, not gate, as I told you, a gate is defined by how it transforms the basis vector. This is very important, right? So whenever you invent a gate, you need to tell people how you transform the vector because from there you can create the matrix. So not gate, as you know, is going to flip the state, the basis state from zero to one and one to zero. So how do we uh, create this? So first of all, I need to tell you that uh, in the matrix uh, process, right, we may say uh, zero equals to one zero, and then one equals to zero one. Uh, because this introduction, I was not able to discuss too much of details, but basically, you just trust me, this is a way to describe the uh, the, the vector in the matrix form. And basically what you say is that I have one component, one component of the first basis vector zero. I have zero components of one, okay? So I have that much of zero, but not nothing about one. And here I have that much of zero, which is I don't have zero. And then I have all of my components I want, that, which makes sense, right? Of course, one, everything is one, right? So this is how we write the matrix, okay? So I'm not matrix, I, the column form, right, in the vector. So because of this, then you will find that I can write my not gate as zero, one, one, zero. Some of you may already learn before is the poly sigma x gate. But anyway, let's see if this is the case, right? If you apply zero, one, one, zero to zero state, which is one, zero. You try to do multiplication, zero times one plus one times zero, give me zero. One times one plus zero times zero, give me one. And in this zero, one is the one state. So it flip it. So here I just say definition is this, very verbal. Uh, quantum mechanics is very elegant uh, uh, that it's just some, it can be, be derived by some seemingly just verbal description and very uh, rigorous, right? Now here we describe what is a quantum gate. We even don't know what is zero and one. Remember, we did not say anything about this is the basis. It's just like water is form of hydrogen and uh, two hydrogen and one oxygen. What is oxygen? oxygen? You don't need to say what is oxygen like this, right? The oxygen is the basis, hydrogen is the basis, right? Um, okay, but the important thing, of course, if you have a general state, I will apply the not gate, it's going to flip zero to one and one to zero. So alpha zero here, alpha zero, right? plus beta one becomes beta zero, alpha one, okay? Here, just as uh, another information you can ignore, we said that it has to be reversible, right? And also there's something called unitary. Unitary, not just reversible, but also it preserves the inner product of two vector. Uh, but now let's ignore that. But every gate needs to be unitary. Uh, so uh, itself times its uh, self adjoint or Hermitian needs to be identity, but let, let's don't worry about this, right? So. Uh, you can go deeper later. But basically, how you define a gate is this, and then you need to a be able to write the matrix. How do I make the not gates of two qubit? You use tensor product, right? Uh, just like how we combine two vector to a larger space. The tensor product is very easy. This is the tensor product. Uh, what you do is you just like multiply the whole matrix to each of these elements. So I have zero, one, 
one zero for the first one. Then I just put this whole matrix inside as an intermediate step. Then you just multiply into this matrix one by one. So this is zero, right? So everything will be zero. I got zero, 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 zero. This is one, right? Then I keep everything, zero, one, one, zero. This is one, I keep everything, zero, one, one, zero. This is zero, then all will become zero after multiplication. And this is the not gate of a two qubit. And you can imagine how to do three qubit, just keep doing the tensor problems. Now, uh, the, the goal here is not that you are able to go into understand everything. The reason I do this is just that I want to do a hands-on. So through the hands-on, you will appreciate more. Okay, so now I'm going to do hands-on. Again, you can download uh, the... Uh, sorry, did the wrong thing. Again, you can download the code from here if you want to do hands-on. But let me just uh, go ahead to do that. Anyone is doing hands-on, by the way? You will do, right? Okay, yeah. So, uh, and since I'm slow, so let's just uh, so everything is okay. So if you already download the file, you will see there's a file called Python Simulator for Quantum Gate, right? I upload to Google Colab. You can also use your own installation because this is a simple one. The first thing is to import library. We only need the LumPy library. I just click on it. I say shift uh, enter, then you will run it. It takes some time. And then maybe while it's, run, uh, it's done, right? So first, I want to show you how to define the matrix. It's very easy. I call zero state, one bit, I zero underscore one B, right? I put it as a lump, lump, numpy array. So this is how you define it. Numpy array is a function, and then we put the list here. There are many ways. Actually, I'm not very good at Python, so I might not be doing the best way. But anyway, uh, you see that this is a function, so parenthesis, and then inside I create a list. This list has... Uh, Two rows, one column, one zero, right? So this is zero equal to this. If I try to run it, uh, you see that then I print uh, uh, here, I print zero, one B, it give me this, right? One zero. So this is exactly like what I show you earlier in the slide uh, regarding the zero and one, right? What I show here, Zero state is one zero, right? Zero state is one zero. So I created the uh, the, the column vector. Then I also uh, define one B, I mean one state, one qubit, one state, and this is zero one, right? So this is zero one. I, what I'm doing is just create a column vector, right? And then here I actually first define an identity gate, which I did not mention before. Identity gate and the identity gate is nothing but just keep your state the same. But it's important in your computation, right? So in real implementation, you don't need the identity gates because you just don't do anything to it. So identity gates is like this. Again, here I define a matrix is zero one one zero. Uh, sorry, one zero zero one is diagonal one, right? So this is identity gate. And then how do I apply the gates? Now you may say. Hey, your so-called simulator is so easy. It's just matrix multiplication. But that is the case. When I apply the identity, identity gate to the zero qubit, I, all I need to do just to use this function, matrix multiplication. So basically what it is doing is just, uh, let me see if I can annotate. Maybe I cannot do here, but I can uh, go back to here to annotate, right? So the identity gate, what, what I'm doing here is just one zero zero one times one zero. That is what I'm doing here. That is what uh, it is doing here, right? The print, NP form, that is the uh, multiplication. So this is the basics. Now, now I, uh, because of time, I give you uh, only one minute. Can you create a one qubit not gate? 
again, what is one qubit not gate? It is 0, 1, 1, 0 instead of 1, 0, 0, 1, right? 0, 1, 1, 0, right? You can even copy the code here and then change it, right? So I will do this at the same time, right? So I will call it uh, not 1B equals 2. So to save my time, I just copy from here. This is identity gate, but then I just change the element to the right order, 0, 1, 1, 0, right? And then I want to try to see how it works when you apply to the uh, qubit. Again, I copy and paste, and then I change it. Instead of identity gate, now I call it not one qubit and then zero, right? And then I run it. And then, okay, I run into problem. Yeah. So, so you can, yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit more time because this is the first time you do it. Uh, yeah, so, so you can see that I divide the array by this. And then when I input zero one B, which is uh, the uh, zero state basis, one zero, now the output is zero one. But now you see that actually I, if you submit your job to IBM Q, the simulator, that's what they're doing is matrix multiplication. But they might use some more sophisticated algorithm to make it faster. Otherwise, it's all matrix multiplication. Okay. And I do have answer here. If you're not able to follow, you open this. Uh, yeah. Uh, except that for all the answer, I put eg underscore in front of it for the gate. Yeah, so you can copy this if you want. Okay. Any questions? Then I do want to introduce the second concept is how do you form the second qubit? I put the second qubit here, right? You have, there's a few ways you can do it. You can also just Define it as it is, right? Uh, I have the answer here to save time. I just copy it, right? If you type it, you basically just not gate to qubit, and then you have MP array. You just type it 0001, 0010, 0100, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 1000, 0, 0, 0, right? And then you run it. So this is nothing special if you already know the uh, matrix. But very often, you want to combine a new gate or a, a different gate together to a higher dimension. Then you want to use the so-called tensor product. And here, uh, this part tell you that tell you how to do it. This is how to define a two qubit not gate using tensor product. So I'm going to type not right two b two qubit right. And there is a function called KRON. Is the you can do the it can do the tensor product. So I'm going to put the log gates of one qubit and then log gates of also one qubit because they are the same, right? The log gates of I mean I'm doing tensor product of two one qubit. I just do this. Let me also print it so you can see what it looks like. What it looks like, right? I print the two qubit here. And then I run it. And you see that you give me 0, 0, 001, which is what I want, instead of typing it. Now you see that if you have many qubits, you can just use this uh, mp.kron to do it. Okay. Any question or question related to other topics? Yeah. Uh, you mean this one? Yeah. This one, I actually just write the final matrix. I hard code it. Yeah. From the basics. Yeah. So here is a four by four matrix. I hard code it. Here, I just do a tensor product of two by two, two by two matrix. Yeah. And they give the same results as you can see. Okay, then uh, I will move forward. 
uh, to the next gate, uh, control not gate. Actually, I spent quite some time already. Let me just quickly summarize. Uh, control not gate is again, you define by how it rotates the basis state, right? So the basis states for two qubit can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And it's defined as the first qubit A does not change, whether it's 0 or 1. The second qubit is A exclusive B. Now, based on this, you will come up with this matrix, right? We won't prove it, but it will work. But again, if you write the vector in a column form, how would it look like? For example, 0, 0, you will write it as 1, 0, 0, 0. Why is that? Because we have four basis states. The first one say that I have this amount of 0, 0. Here you say that I have this amount of 0, 1. Here I have this amount of 1, 0. And here I have this amount of 1, 1. Again, this is a typo. So, okay. Your, your column vector basis, basically lists all the coefficient of the basis state. So, because of this, what do you think? How should I write 0, 1 in terms of column form? You should have one unit of 0, 1, right? So, it will be 0, 1, 0, 0. So, actually, quantum computing is very easy um, numerically sometimes. It's just that it takes a long time to compute, right? It's complex, but numerically it's very easy. It's all zero and one, right? And similarly, this one is zero, zero, one, zero. And the last, oh, this is wrong because this is one, one, right? Because it is one, one. So one, one is going to be zero, zero, one, right? Because I'm talking about one, one here. Right, one one is zero 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 one. Okay, so if you apply, you try this to here, then naturally you will see that. For example, now I have a general vector alpha, beta, gamma, delta. It is alpha zero zero plus beta zero one plus gamma one zero plus delta one one. That is the meaning of alpha, beta, gamma, delta. I apply the control not gate to it. You see it just for the matrix multiplication. This is one zero 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 multiply this one. So A does not change. It's diagonal, this part. This one, beta, right? Because zero times alpha plus one times beta times plus zero times gamma plus zero times delta should give me beta. And here is opposite. I mean, this is not the same. Zero times alpha plus zero times beta plus zero times gamma but one times delta. So this one becomes delta. So that is how you got the swapping between the last two qubit. And but you realize the function of control not gate. Because when the first qubit, so, uh, the basis state is one. Remember, this is talking about zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. So the control qubit is zero. So that's why it doesn't change. But here, control qubit is one, so the target qubit got free. Okay. So let's try to do the control not gate or exclusive or gate, right? Uh, in the Google Colab. Colab. So this is the gate we want to implement. So how do we do that? You cannot do tensor product because uh, you can actually, but not a simple tensor product. You need to do some subtraction, but let's do something simple. I call it control not, right? Two qubit equals to mp dot array is a function and I put in here, right? And then I put the other things, but I uh, this will be zero, 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 one, and then the next row zero zero one zero next row zero one zero zero next row one zero 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 i hope that it works okay it works so i will print it print c not to b oh sorry what i'm doing 
Oh, so I, I'm looking at the wrong one, right? This is the, I'm sorry, this is. Oh, okay, I, I put in the wrong place. This is uh, still the log gate applied to a general qubit. Is it okay? I, I'm, I should actually be working at using this one, control log 2B here. This is control log, okay? So, so that's why I, I, come, I got everything wrong because I was implemented the two qubit not gate. Right. So I just uh, change it back. Yeah, then now I have the control not gate. Okay. I give you 15 seconds maybe. And I do have an answer here. You can look at that one. And the, the, the thing I want to uh, show here is that then, now, if I want to apply control not gate to one zero state, how should I do it? First, I need to create one zero state, right? But I would just, uh, maybe I just call this one zero. I can use the tensor product again, np dot this one, and then I do one state and zero one b. Because earlier I already defined what is the one state and what the, is the zero state. Now I just do a tensor product, right? Let me print it. And you see that this is one zero and it's correct, right? Because zero, zero, one, zero. Right, so I have zero component of zero, zero, zero component of zero, one, one component of one, zero, and zero component of one, one. Okay, now, then I want to see what it does to the, uh, I just call this result so I can print it. Uh, I mean, it will be easier to see. MP dot uh, matrix multiplication, right? I just need to apply my C naught two qubit gate I just created and apply it to this one zero state. And then I will print the result. And you can see that it changed from zero zero one zero to zero 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 one. Maybe it's difficult for those at the back to see, right? Can you see it? Or Larger. Step better. Right. So if you are able to do this, then you're good. You can write any quantum simulation code already. <laughs> right. First, MPKRON, which is the uh, tensor product, you use it for to form higher dimension vector or higher dimension operator. Right. And then you whenever you apply a gate to a state. You just do matrix multiplication, and this is the new state. Okay. So now let me go. Yeah, question. The set step. Okay, yeah. But let, let's explain a little bit more. Uh, the tensor product is to create a larger space from a smaller space. So you have two qubits. I have electron one and electron two. So both of them are in the state of one zero and one zero. How do I describe this whole system? Then you use tensor product, right? So so this is a good, good point. Uh, uh, it's good to make this clear, right? I have electron one, which is, let's say in the one zero state, right? This is, let's say it is zero. And then I have electron two also, uh, in the zero state. So it is uh, one zero, right? Then how do we describe the state which is 
electron one at zero and electron two also at zero. We do it by tensor product, which is the MP dot K R O N. And what it does is like what we did for matrix, one just multiply the whole thing into it. And then you continue to element wise, one, zero, 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 which tell us that it had one component of zero, zero, zero components of zero, one, one component, zero components of zero, one, one, zero, and then zero components of one, one. So that is the tensor product, make a larger space, right? So I created a vector in the larger space. And then for the multiplication, I do need to use a regular matrix multiplication to the vector. Okay, good. I still have five minutes before this session break. So let me still uh, finish the Hadama gate. Hadama gate, uh, we discussed earlier already. It is a matrix that can create superposition. So, so nothing special, right? You, uh, you just go to the math, you will see that. Uh, it is one 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 negative one. If applied to one zero, remember remember was one zero. It is zero, right? Zero one. It is one. You see that it becomes a superposition of that. But I want you to memorize one thing. We also call this superposition plus and minus state. People very commonly use this. So this becomes the. Uh, this is actually the eigenvector of the sigma x. Right? Uh, we won't go into detail, but the main point, if you go back to this broad sphere, when you apply Hadama gate, you bring it to the equator. Again, remember, this is not the real thing in our real space, right? We, we are not rotating a vector from south pole to the equator, but we are rotating a vector in the hyperspace to plus and it happened that when you we map this hyperspace to our real space we embed it in our real space it is the equator in our real space okay. uh, difficult to understand but uh just be careful of that right so uh so because of this right then if we apply this to a general superposition then of course zero becomes zero plus one, one becomes zero minus one. If you group them, then you will be something like that. Or in other words, you can also say it is zero becomes plus, one becomes minus, okay? It is pretty often people will, uh, I mean, sometimes we can use this analogy. This is not exactly the same, but happen that in our real 3D space, if I call x zero and then uh, y one, then their diagonal direction are plus and minus their relationship are the same. For example, you can see that this is equal to, right, in vector form, this is equal to one square root zero plus one. You, you will see that, right? But it just happened then they are the same, but this is not the real qubit state because this is a 3D, uh, this is a real space, but the qubit is complex space, okay? Um, so now we have everything, right? So if you want to try, uh, it's 228 already. Now you already created a quantum simulator. Can you try to implement this circuit? Right? Let me go back to this simulator. Now, if you have not done that, you can also copy the answer and just remove the uh, EG, right? We rename it by removing EG underscore and run the notebook. And then at this point, uh, first, you want to implement the Hadamard gate and then implement this circus to form an entanglement. Okay, uh, you can do it du during the break. It's still two minutes. I will, I, I will continue working on here. Otherwise, feel free to have a break and we can discuss if you have questions. Okay, yeah. So I will continue and you feel, feel free to have a break, right? So now uh, I'm going to define the gate. I call it H, MP dot array, right? And I will just say one divided by MP dot square root two times MP dot array. And then I have one 
one, one, negative one. And then I print H. Oh, this is two, not Q. Yeah, so here you give me the hard armor gate, one over square root two, right? And then uh, I will skip this, how you show this, then we will do the uh, circuit, right? I will do this after the break because it will be a good summary. Anyway, maybe we can ask those online. Uh, for, for those online, can you hear me? Do you hear echo? Is that clear? Uh, they say it's clear. No echo. no echo. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so let's uh, start the second part. I want to finish the simulator because I really think that uh, you understand quantum computing better if you can write the simulator and trace how each qubit evolves. Right, so uh, we already had the basics. So now how do we create this circuit, right? So uh, let's go back to the uh, collab. So the goal is to create this circuit. So what I will do is this. The input is zero, zero, right? So I, I, I might call input. First, I will do is to do a tensor product so that I can create the vector at higher dimension. So I will say 0, 1p, 0, right, 1p. The good thing about having the simulator is that I can always print to see what it looks like, right? So you see that I first, I have done the uh, tensor product. So you give me 1, 0, 0, 0. Again, what is the meaning of the first one? It means 0, 0 state, right? So then uh, I want to apply a hard armor gates to it. Now, now you need to treat it as a whole system. I apply a hard armor gate to the first qubit, but I also apply, apply a, an identity gate to the second qubit. So I actually need to create a gate, right? For example, I call it the uh, first gate, or like say first, first step, right? I call it. Uh, it will be a tensor product between the hard armor gate and the identity gate, one, one bit identity gate. Right? I, I can always print it to see what it looks like. This is the tensor product when I have the hard armor gate and the one qubit gate. Right? And then I can maybe now I can see what it looks like after uh, how far I call it the uh, state. Uh, Two. State two is going to be equals to the matrix multiplication of by applying the first gate. I, I I better call it first gate. Sorry, I keep changing. Instead of a step, let me just call it first gate. Multiply the first gate to the input. Okay. And of course, I can try to print it to see what it looks like after this state. Now you see this. Again, you have zero, zero basis states. You have a component. Uh, one zero has a component. So it is a superposition of two states, right? So then I can get a second state. Finally, uh, after this Hadamard gate, what I need is a control not gate. But I already have a control not gate. All I need to do is just put state three, which is just the output. Let me call it output. Equals to, again, I apply the, uh, do the multiplication. We have done the control not gate earlier. And now I do the multiplication between state, uh, sorry, uh, C not gate is not defined. What is that? Uh, we should have a C not gate defined earlier. Okay, uh, somehow I call it C not underscore 2B. Okay, so I call it 2B. Okay, so maybe I then can print the output. Now you see that this is 0, 0. This is 1, 1. So we successfully created an entanglement state, right? If we go back to the slide, what we were doing is that 
this is zero zero and then eventually we have this state this is this state is equals to one over square root two one zero zero one in matrix form because each component is talking about how much uh basis state how uh, i have right so this is zero 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 one one zero and one one so okay so very simple but i hope that you can appreciate that you already created a quantum computer simulator all you need to do just use this tensor product and then matrix multiplication then no matter how complicated the algorithm is you can implement or implement it already okay just use classical computing uh, programming method okay so that is the thing i want to say here because of time uh, I still have two type of gates to discuss. I will skip them. You can just look at it. Again, it is that you, it is defined by how it transformed the basis state. And one is called phase shift gate. Another is the so-called swap gate. And swap gate is also an entanglement gate. What it does is the swap the zero one and one zero basis to each other. So you see that alpha zero zero still alpha zero zero. Beta zero one becomes gamma zero one. Gamma one zero becomes beta one zero. Delta one one is still delta one one. This is the swap gate, which we use in superconducting qubit a lot. We'll look at that later also. Okay. So that conclude our simulation 